Rag Rolling makes a remarkable impression with the ability to transform walls, ceilings, doors, furniture, and accessories with rich textures and variations of color. This technique is so easy that even a beginner can create a beautiful finish. Many faux techniques can be achieved by either adding or removing the glazed top coat. In the case of rag rolling, this is known as either rag rolling on or rag rolling off. In either case, here's what you'll need to get started. The base coat is applied the same way for both versions of this technique. First, mask any surfaces that you don't want to paint with masking tape. Next, apply the base coat by brushing a 2 to 3 inch border around the edges and then roll using a premium quality 3 8 inch nap roller. Be sure to let the base coat dry overnight before applying the glaze. The rag rolling on technique is achieved by the manner in which the glaze is applied to the surface. Begin by pouring a generous amount of glaze into a paint tray. Using an ordinary lint-free cloth, dampen the rag, then thoroughly saturate the rag in the glaze. Fold in all of the corners of the rag and roll the rag into a cylindrical shape with lots of creases and folds. Start in the upper left-hand section of the wall and roll the rag in random directions. Continue in this random change of direction manner until the rag needs to be resaturated with glaze. In corners and at wall edges, the rag can be dabbed to distribute glaze in those hard to reach areas. Be sure to position the rag so that it doesn't unroll as the glaze is being applied. A pouncing brush can serve a similar purpose as it pushes the glaze into the corners where the rag can't reach. A pouncing brush or softening brush can also be used to minimize or reduce the occasional area where glaze has been applied too heavily. Remember to remove any excess glaze from the pouncing brush with a paper towel or a cleaning cloth as you continue to blend various sections. One of the beauties of Valspar signature glazes in any technique is that they have a long working time. If you make a mistake, you can wipe off the affected area and reapply the glaze. It's best to remove it in the same manner in which it was applied, so that there's no obvious transition point or straight line from where you stopped and started. The rag rolling off technique is achieved by the manner in which the glaze is removed from the surface. Working in random 2 by 4 foot jigsaw shaped sections, apply the glaze in the same manner as the base coat by first brushing the edges with a 2 to 3 inch border and then rolling with a premium quality 3 8 inch nap roller. Next, twist a clean damp cotton rag into a cylindrical shape and roll the rag in various random directions and at varying angles to remove the glaze. The rag or a pouncing brush can be used to blend and remove glazing corners and along the wall edge to give a more uniform appearance. Rinse and wring out the cloth when it becomes saturated with glaze or change to a clean cloth. You may have to re-roll your rag from time to time as it becomes unraveled. Continue working in random adjacent sections keeping a wet edge until the entire surface is covered. Occasionally you may want to step back to get a better perspective of your work. This helps to see if there are some areas that need more attention. A beautiful rag rolled faux finish can be achieved using either technique, even by a beginner. <laughs>